This is the all-new 2024 Corvette E-Ray. It might look like any other Stingray at first glance, but this thing packs a whole bunch of firsts for the American automaker. This is the first Corvette to feature all-wheel drive, and it's also the first one to pack a hybrid electric system. Now the E-Ray is aimed at providing the ultimate Grand Touring experience, taking elements from both the regular Stingray and the more track-focused Z06 to create something new and revolutionary for the brand. Now, the C8 Stingray was already a massive step up from the previous Corvette models when they moved the engine from the front to the rear. While not everybody was happy with the changes, it did make the car way faster, both in a straight line and in the corners. Now, they will take it even a step further. On the front axle of the E-Ray, you will find an electric motor, and in the back sits an all-American small block V8. Now for purists, this is probably a nightmare. I mean, if you think about it, it's just a Prius with a bigger engine. I'm joking, of course. In the rear, you'll find the same LT2 naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that powers the normal Stingray. It makes the same 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque as it does in the Z51 equipped Stingray. This means that the car will have that V8 rumble. But the thing that makes the E-Ray different is the 160 horsepower permanent magnet synchronous AC motor that can be found in the front of the car. The electric motor gets its juice from a lithium ion battery with 1.1 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. Now, this extra motor means that the total power output will go from 495 all the way to 655 horsepower, which is just 15 horsepower less than the Z06. Now, the E-Ray will feature the same 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission as the Stingray and the Z06, but where the Z06 utilizes shorter gears, the E-Ray will use the same long ratios as the normal C8 Stingray. Now, how much of a difference does this extra make in terms of real-world performance? Now, before we go into the new car's performance, I have to mention that the normal C8 is already stupid fast in a straight line. I mean, the 500 horsepower mid-engine sports car will do the sprint from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds, and it will complete the standing quarter mile in just 11.2 seconds. So, how does the E-Ray compare? Chevy estimates the Corvette E-Ray will reach 60 in just 2.5 seconds, and it will nail the quarter mile mark in around 10.5 seconds, making it the fastest Corvette ever. That's faster in a straight line than the Z06 which reaches 60 in just 2.6 seconds. Now people have clocked the Z06 on a quarter mile of 10.5, which is the same as the E-Ray, but still this car's straight line performance is pretty impressive. But here is the difference. In the corners, the Z06 should smash the heavier hybrid E-Ray, but the E-Ray should still handle pretty well, since it borrows the wider Z06 body. Now according to Chevy, the E-Ray should be able to achieve around 1.1 Gs of lateral force on the optional Pilot Sport 4 S's, which is more than the C8 could achieve. How? I mean, Chevy has said that the electric system in the E-Ray will add around 300 pounds to the total weight of the C8. How did they manage to improve the cornering force while making the car heavier? Well, all three Corvette variants utilize the same basic suspension formula, compressing a control arm setup at every corner. Where the difference comes in, both the E-Ray and the Z06 come standard with Chevrolet's excellent magnet audiological dampers. The E-Ray does get some additional adjustments, however, to compensate for the E-Ray's additional weight in the front end. This combined with the better suspension, the E-Ray also gets some super wide 275 front and 345 rear wheels from the Z06. Now what will bring this sports car to a halt? Well, since it's heavier, Chef has made the eBoost assisted carbon ceramic discs with Brembo 6 piston front calipers and 4 piston rear calipers standard on the E-Ray. These brakes are an option on the Z06, so they should stop pretty damn well. Anyways, enough on performance. This is a hybrid, so it should be more economical. Well, firstly, like I said before, the battery is super small at 1.1 kilowatt hours. This means that the E-Ray is not a plug-in hybrid. Chevy says it's designed to rapidly charge and discharge itself. This also means that the car won't be able to go very far on its electric motor alone. In fact, Chevy estimates that it would be able to do between 3 and 5 miles on electricity alone. Now, no actual MPG claims have been made, but I don't think it's going to be a whole lot better. 
than the normal Stingray. Now for the big question, how much extra will all of this technology cost you? I mean the one other hybrid sports car slash supercar you get out there, which makes less power, the Acura NSX starts at $171,000. Well, I have to say, Chevy knocked it out of the park with this one. The E-Ray will cost $104,000 for the coupe with its removable dogger top. That's more than $60,000 less than the NSX, and it's a smidge cheaper than the Z06 as well. But let me know what you think of the all-new Corvette E-Ray. Do you see the potential in the hybrid technology? Or would you rather them keep it pure and stick to the combustion engine only? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did like this video, you like all the other stuff on my channel, so just go through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.